Well, hello again. Welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Risch. I ran into a series of short articles by David Logan, and today we're going to just look at a short one. Uh, it's called A Lesson in Love. And okay, it was on a Sunday evening in a busy emergency department where I was on duty with other physicians. There had been an accident in which a pickup truck had overturned. The occupants, three young men, were brought in for evaluation and care. One of the young fellows was so drunk he couldn't give a coherent account of what had happened, nor if he was hurt or where. The patient's vital signs were stable an evaluation by the doctor who had assumed his care revealed no apparent major threat to life nor limb. Uh, the situation, however, was frustrated from a medical standpoint because of the important indicators of significant injury could be concealed due to the uh, effects of alcohol. The plan was to keep a close eye on him and let him dry out and do no uh, and do a periodic recheck. When this treating physician went off duty, he asked me to take the patient's care. I found this young man still quite drunk and reeking of alcohol. He was filthy. His response to any questions I asked him was either inintelligible murmuring or an effect to make a wisecrack. He was unincorporative, and uh, efforts to gently clean a wound he had was effectively thawed by his overreactions to the slightest touch. I was uh, disgusted with him. But thankfully, the Lord gave help in controlling my irritation and words. Well, after I had finished the care of his wounds, his mother came in. She stood by his side, uh, by the side of the stretcher, gazing down at him. I glanced at her. Tears were streaming down her face. Her expression was one of over... Uh, flowing love and compelling sorrow mingled together. What to me was repulsive individual was to her an object of immense love. God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love of which he loved us, when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Ephesians 2, 4 and 5. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loves us and sent his Son to be a propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. 1 John 4, verses 10 and 11. 